OK, so in this video, we're going to be looking at integration as a limit of a sum of areas. OK, so uh, we've got the curve of y equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. And what I'm going to try and do is estimate the area underneath the curve between x equals 1 and x equals 4 using these four rectangular bars. OK, uh, each of them has exactly the same width, delta x. And the first question I'm asked is, what is the value of delta x? OK, so uh, delta x will be the difference between 4 and 1 divided by the number of bars that I have. So delta x is 3 quarters, or 0.75. OK? Right, now b. Calculate the sum of yi times delta x. So the yi's, they are the heights of the bars, OK? And I can multiply that by delta x. So effectively, what I'm being asked there is to find the area, the total area, of the green bars. So I'm going to need to know the uh, y values for each of the heights of the bars, OK? So it would probably be best to have a table so I'm going to have x values and y values. And I'm going to be starting at 1. Okay. Now the next one along will be 1 and 3 quarters, so 7 quarters. And then the next one along will be another 3 quarters along on that, so that would be 10 quarters uh, or 5 halves. And then the next one along will be 5 halves uh, plus 3 quarters, so 13 quarters. OK? So they are the x coordinates, um, which give me the x values of these bars. Now the y coordinates, I'm going to need to substitute those into my curve. OK? So we're going to have two lots of, uh, well, 1, so 2 uh, plus 3, take away 12 plus 8, which is just 1. OK, that's nice and easy. Right, 7 quarters. So two lots of 7 quarters uh, cubed plus three lots of 7 quarters squared. Take away 12 lots of 7 quarters plus 8. So that's 221 over 32. Now with the 5 halves, so two lots of 5 halves uh, cubed, rather. Uh, plus 3 lots of 5 halves squared, take away 12 lots of 5 halves, plus 8. So that's 28. And 13 quarters, so 2 lots of 13 quarters cubed, uh, plus 3 lots of 13 quarters squared, take away 12 lots of 13 quarters, uh, plus 8. So that's 2,219 over 32. OK, so now I've got those y values, I can find the sum of the y values times delta x. OK, so the sum from i is 1 up to 4 of the y i's times delta x will be equal to the sum of the y's, so 1 plus 221 over 32 plus 28 plus 2219 over 32. Right, let's try that again. Uh, times by the width of the strip, 3 quarters. So 1 plus 221 over 32 plus 28 plus 2219 over 32. And I'm going to need to times that by 3 quarters. So I get 1,263 over 16, which is equal to 78.9375. OK? So that's the answer to part B. Now part C, what that is asking for, this limit, is the fact that if I make the strips infinitesimally thin, then this will be equal to the integral. So I'm actually being asked to integrate 2x cubed plus 3x squared, take away 12x plus 8, between 1 and 4, to work out the exact value. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 2x to the 4 over 4, plus 3x to the 
plus 3x cubed over 3, take 12x squared over 2, plus 8x, evaluated between 1 and 4. So that's 1 half x to the 4 plus x cubed, take 6x squared plus 8x between 1 and 4. Right, now substitute in the 4 first. So 1 half times 4 to the power of 4. So that's 1, 2, 8. And then I've got 4 cubed, so 64. Uh, 6 lots of 4 squared is 96. Then 8 lots of 4, so 32. Substitute in the 1, I'm going to get half plus 1, take 6 plus 8. So 1, 2, 8 plus 64, take 96 plus 32 is 128. And then we've got 1 half uh, plus 1, take 6 plus 8 is 7 halves. So 128 uh, take away 7 halves is 249 over 2, which is 124.5. So um, that is how we answer one of these questions. And clearly what we've got here, what we got from our estimate, uh, because we only used four bars, we got a relatively weak estimate of the total area okay we did get something that was less which we would expect um, if we would got something that was smaller than what we got previously then clearly the diagram of what we're getting uh, don't add up okay uh, because clearly those bars are below the curve and so should always give you a lower figure than the end result